Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dependent Fanatic channel. I am the Dependent Fanatic and I thought instead of talking about this saga that is the new accusations against Michigan football, let's talk about another hypothetical, shall we? And I think it is Iowa versus USC has to be a bowl game this season, right? Whether it's both of them run the table and win their conference championships and make a playoff and play each other, or the more likely scenario where uh, they do not do that, but they do meet up in a bowl game. I think it would be electric. Polar opposites. The team with an elite defense and no offense versus the team with an elite offense and no defense. That is the contrast game that everyone should want to see. Who would win it, though? Who would win that game? Uh, it's, uh, I'll do my own speculation here tonight. Because Iowa hasn't exactly played great offense yet. A great offense yet. Uh, Penn State, are they a great offense? I don't know. Um, and USC hasn't played a great defense yet. So, so what wins? Here we go. Iowa's defense is allowing 15 points per game and 325 yards per game allowed with no offense at all. So uh, the offense is get, uh, only getting 21 points per game and 247 yards per game. How is that possible? How are they 6-1? and one? Well, You'd think turnovers, but I think they're only leading in that category by one this season so far. So what the, something's got to give there, right? And then USC's offense uh, is scoring 47 points per game, 492 yards per game, without a defense that can't get any stops. <laughs> they just can't. Uh, and how is that possible? That USC is 6-1. and one. The defense gives up 30 points per game and 397 yards per game. I think even Iowa can move the ball on that defense. So, uh, in the modern era of college football, I would go with USC because of the modern leaning uh, offensive rules. Uh, but defense still wins championships. So give me Iowa in this matchup without both McNamara and all uh, from Michigan because I think Iowa can still score on USC's defense. And even without an offense, uh, Iowa is stopping people. So that's an interesting matchup to me. I hope we can see that in the postseason. I hope there is a postseason for Michigan. It's my way of just deflecting a little bit, but this is a fun matchup to think about as well. Who wins, the great offense with no defense or the great defense with no offense? <laughs> They're playing each other. It's an exciting matchup. So thank you, everybody. If you thought that was a good matchup, let me know what you think. Who, who wins versus Iowa and USC? in the comments down below and have a great night everybody but go blue keep uh fending off the ncaa harbaugh keep that fight alive you are not one to back down from fight don't run away you can do this sue them for defamation uh we have to see all the facts in that case and everything but that's for another day have a great night everybody